Welcome. I'm going to show you how to edit the Cupcake with Sparkler mock-up in Photoshop. So first you want to use this handy layers panel here. To insert your design, just click the arrow next to the topper and toothpick layer, and then the arrow next to topper, and then just double click the thumbnail icon in the design dash layer. And that's going to open up a smart object where you can copy and paste your design. Then we'll go to File Open and we'll find the uh, design. Then we'll go to Select All, then Edit, Copy. Then we'll click back on the Smart Object tab and go to Edit, Paste. And then we'll go to File, Save to save that. And then you can just click the X to close out of the Smart Object and you can close your original graphics. And you'll see it put it on the uh, cupcake just like that. If uh, when you paste it into the smart object, it's not the right size, you can just go to edit, free transform, and then just click on any one of the four corners and drag it in or out to make it bigger or smaller. In newer versions of Photoshop, when you do that, it'll just automatically keep it proportional. In older versions, you used to have to hold down the shift key to keep it from getting distorted. So if you're clicking and dragging and it's getting stretched out, just go to edit, undo, and do the opposite of whatever you were doing, whether that's holding down the shift key or not holding it down. And then, uh, if you don't need a circle topper like that, you can simply turn it off by clicking this eye icon next to the topper layer. You can also turn the toothpick on and off by clicking the eye icon next to the toothpick layer. If you have a different shape topper and you want to copy and paste it right onto the toothpick, you can just go to File Open then find your topper and once again we'll do select all then edit copy and this time we'll click back on the mock-up and just go to edit paste and if this isn't the right size you can go to edit free transform again and you can also change the color of the frosting in this mock-up to do that, click the arrow next to Cupcake, and then the arrow next to Cupcake. And then just double click the thumbnail icon in the color dash frosting layer. And that'll open up the color picker. You can click in this rainbow slider here to choose any color. And then you can click in this gradient box to change the lightness and darkness of that color. You can also enter the color values in any of these boxes if you know them. You can turn the sparkler here on and off just by clicking the eye icon next to the sparkler layer. There's a bonus white background here. So to reveal that, you can just click the arrow next to the backgrounds layer group and then click the eye icon uh, in the different layers to toggle them on and off. So you could actually create many different mock-ups that look all different with just this one mock-up. And I gave you some pre-built colors here. If you didn't want to choose your own color for the frosting, you could click the eye icon next to pre-built colors and then just toggle on and off the different colors that are included. You might want to have just one color selected. Otherwise, sometimes you can get a little bit of a, a line underneath the frosting there. And the shading on the frosting is adjustable. So if you want it to have a little more contrast, you can click the eye icon next to the more shading layer. And then click on the more shading layer. And then click the down arrow next to opacity. And you can drag the slider to the right to make it more contrasty or to the left to make it more subtle. 
can also adjust the shadows underneath the cupcake. To do that, just click the arrow next to shadows under cupcake, and then click on any of these shadow layers. And then click the down arrow next to opacity and just drag the slider to the right to make the shadows darker or the left to make them more subtle. And that's all there is to editing the uh, cupcake with sparkler mockup in uh, Photoshop. Please message me at melissabmockups.com if you have any questions. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you get updates to future videos. And as always, this mockup and other mockups are available at melissabmockups.com. Thank you.